Geothermal energy could be a major game changer for Taiwan's power supply, but there's one critical bottleneck to overcome. Traditional geothermal plants use reservoirs of hot water below ground to generate electricity. In Taiwan, though there is plenty of heat below the surface, water is not always present. According to a geographer from National Taiwan University, developing hot dry rock technologies could get every area of Taiwan generating electricity. Take a dip in the hot springs, or even cook some food in the scalding water. Jiaoxi in Ilan is a popular destination for a thermal getaway. <laughs> Taiwan lies on the Pacific Ring of Fire, packed with volcanoes. Natural resources are abundant, and so is geothermal activity. Uh, Meter by meter, the technician uses ultra-low frequency electromagnetic waves to see everything going on 3,000 meters below his feet. Are there any treasures hidden there? Check the screen to find out. We can analyze the ground up to depths of 300 to 3,000 meters and check the composition of the substratum. For example, if there is sandstone shale, metamorphic rocks or volcanic rocks, crustal stress provides insight about the forces at play, which helps us calculate geothermal activity. The equipment ranges from handheld instruments to measuring tools that can be used on vehicles, aerial devices, and vessels. Professor Zhu Zihao has brought about a revolution to the field of geothermal surveying, which many think is restricted to government professionals. His devices are compact and lightweight at just 0.7 kilograms, making them easy to handle. They're also accurate and can be used from up in the sky. More importantly, they cost just one-tenth of similar equipment, opening the door for anyone who wants to carry out a geothermal survey. Zhu's goal is to spur the development of geothermal energy in Taiwan. Steaming hot water gushes out from the fissures on the rocks. After a successful survey last year, this hot spring resort in Jiben installed a small geothermal generator. It is in talks with a foreign energy company to begin an excavation to generate electricity for the resort's use and to sell to Thai Power. Though there is plenty of potential in Taiwan, a key bottleneck for the development is that some geothermal locations lack access to water. If there's any shale blocking the thermal source, water won't be able to seep in. So we have heat but no water deep in the ground. That is the biggest challenge that we have to overcome to develop geothermal energy in Taiwan. Hot dry rock is an abundant source of geothermal energy contained in hot but dry environments. But with the current technology, wells can only be installed at shallow depths and locations with simple terrain. Zhu says there is plenty of business potential from hot dry rock geothermal energy, and he's on a mission to uncover potential locations all over Taiwan. If we can develop technology to harness these hot and dry sources, we can get all of Taiwan generating electricity from geothermal energy.